And I've always loved Newburgh. There's something yeah. special about it. Uh, the Windsor doesn't really have a town center. Sidewalks, it doesn't have the same kind of soul. I went up to the pawn shop and picked up a used T3i with a couple of kit lenses and I just started shooting. That's what I became passionate about. Shana was half black, half Puerto Rican, so persons of color issues have always been important to us. We always think about her, particularly when the George Floyd thing happened and the Black Lives Matter movement got going with such a head of steam. I covered every protest I could in Newburgh. I've done nine so far. We did these for uh, a party. My wife made that, that's the costume she wore at the party. So I was doing my master's in set and lighting design, and she was doing hers in costume. Cherry Diamond did this of us in our bed. And it was, what it was about is finding comfort in the age of Trump, which I thought was an incredible project. Having grown up in Newburgh and lived here during race riots when I was in high school, there was always this waiting for Newburgh to come back and Newburgh to have some sort of a reckoning with its racist past. This felt like it. Every protest I've gone to, usually on Lower Broadway and on South Street, there is usually some kind of solidarity involvement that way.